Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Wave. In particular, Adam Warlock, played of course by Will Powter. Powter? Powter. Um, and it kind of looks like him from the renditions on the box. Um, I'm quite excited about this one. He comes with a builder figure piece, as you can see there, for Cosmo, the um, builder figure of this particular wave. But this is the first time we've seen Adam Warlock in the MCU. So this is the first MCU Adam Warlock figure that we've had. So without further ado, let's get him out of the box and take a look. And I must admit, out of the box, he really does impress me. He comes with two builder figure pieces for Cosmo, the tail and the helmet. Not the most exciting pieces for the Builder figure, but then again, it's a Builder figure dog. Um, you can see how big that Builder figure is going to be because this helmet fits over the head of Adam Warlock quite easily. Now, I've noticed I've got a massive defect in this one. You can see here um, his right foot is kind of the, the plastic's kind of bent wrong. Um, overall, though, the figure is absolutely stunning. The sculpting on him is really lovely. He's pinless. He's got kind of a feel to him, the same as the Iron Man suits. It's that kind of red plastic that they've used on him. Um, but the gold on him definitely stands out. Um, the skin tone of gold, because um, Adam Warlock is gold in the uh, in the comic books. And obviously he's going to be gold in the film. But the skin tone isn't as gold as I thought. It's more of a kind of a mustardy colour, I think. Um yeah, it could have been a little bit more gold. The cape is absolutely stunning though. And this gives us our first real look at what Adam Warlock's kind of costume and suit is going to be based on his appearance in the MCU. Now you've got to remember as well that some of these figures might have been done off concept art. So there might be slight differences. We've seen it before with uh, characters like Wanda where the figures come out and then the actual uh, look of the character on screen is a little bit different than the figure. However, um, this is this is definitely a good idea of what Adam Warlock is going to look like. And I'm really impressed with this figure overall. The sculpting on him is really, really nice. The detail in his face, it definitely looks like the actor. Um, yeah, um, Adam Warlock was, of course, teased at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And then he's going to, is set to kind of be the the main antagonist by the looks of the trailer. We don't quite know how he's going to fit into the film. But, it, you know, it's the, the idea is that he's going to be the main antagonist. They can see here the legs compared to the hands. Um, you can see the, the really dodgy foot I've got. Now, it's, it's not the end of the world, but, yeah, it's annoying. But you can see the skin tone compared to the costume. What I mean is in the kind of mustard hue. Whereas the gold on the suit is really nice, really metallic looking. Even the hair kind of has that metallic look. But then the face just looks a little bit off yellow. Um... I mean, it's. I think it's okay. I'm not really sure. What's your opinion on it? Oh, sorry, just fell over there. Um, but anyway, yeah. As a figure, the sculpting is really nice, and I do really like it when they put a new character out like this and they put some real effort into the sculpting of the figure. Here he is next to Star Lord, so you can get him for kind of height comparison. Star Lord's hands just falling off there. I am not selling this wave at all, and my hands falling off and feet defected. Um, but it is a really good wave. Now he's falling over again. Uh, I'm not doing very well on this one. Um, but yeah, you get an idea for height comparison. So he's about the same height as Star Lord, maybe an inch or two higher. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see what role Adam Warlock plays in this film because he was teased at the end of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. If you knew what you were looking for with that cocoon and stuff at the end, um, we all knew that was going to be Adam Warlock. So he has been a long time coming. And I really do hope he has a bigger part to play in the MCU following this film. Um, he could be one of the main things to come out of this film that kind of continue on in the MCU. I'd love to see him kind of up against Vision and that kind of stuff. Um, this is probably how I'm going to display him so I can hide that defected foot. Now you can write to the retailers that you pick up the figure from but I'm, I, I, I tend to only complain if it's something really really bad. It doesn't affect the way he stands, it doesn't affect the way I'm going to pose him so I'm not overly fussed about it right now. Um, and I really am kind of taken back by how nice this figure is. Um, I do like it when they put that effort in and kind of give us those new sculpts and all that kind of detail. But yeah, he's a really nice figure. First time we've had an MCU Adam Warlock in um, action figure form from Marvel Legends. So definitely worth picking up in my opinion. 
that's about it thank you very much for watching uh, please do like share subscribe and all of those things do check out my ch uh, my channel because I've done five minute figure reviews on the rest of this wave as well as various other figures and Marvel Legends etc so yeah so that's about it really nice figure um, well worth picking up till next time I'll see you soon